Hello guys, it's Ty, a.k.a. The Flip Man. Can't find a buyer. Now what? Smart. You know what. Wholesaling houses, your cash or credit won't matter. Very, very common question. This scares people to death about this business. Probably more than anything outside of probably their contracts, which uh, I always say if you get to the paperwork part of it, I mean, if you got a buyer and seller in place, the paperwork is, is, is easy. But I guess that's easy for me to say after as long as I've been doing it. But I understand. Uh, but can't find a buyer. Um, that uh, that's, gives a lot of people um, a lot of heartache and hesitation about the business. Well, folks, let me tell you. Um, you really don't have anything to worry about. An easy fix. Because if you're finding deals, deals now. Now, not just putting stuff on the contract deals buyers are easy um you've heard me say it a thousand times if you watched enough of my videos is that it's not hard to give away money uh but don't let anyone tell you and if they do you may want to run if you do this long enough you will put properties on the contract and you will not be able to find a buyer for it that's just the way it is that shouldn't happen that often if you're doing what you're supposed to do on the seller side as far as negotiating, but it shouldn't happen that often. Some of it is just out of when you're first, especially when you're first starting out, you won't know what buyers are really willing to pay for in a particular area unless you already had some form of experience, maybe through some bird dogging or something, but you won't know what buyers are really willing to pay for in a particular part of town, especially especially when you get into the more blue clock collar or lower end ends of a, of your market, you really won't know what they're willing to pay, because uh, a lot of it's perception, which may not be actual reality, but it's reality because that's what they're willing to pay. So, um, but don't let that scare you off. Just remember, if people are living in a particular area, whether they're there for through rentals mostly or through sales or whatever those houses are not free uh so that those those were transactions and that gives you an opportunity to make money i don't care if that's on the lower end the middle class part of your your of your market or the higher end you know but we're really talking about the lower end because that may be a little bit more difficult to figure out sometimes and you won't know until buyers let you know that you hey either i'm doing a great job of negotiating or i'm not doing a good job of negotiating and I train my students to, um, uh, you always want to, you may have the greatest buyers list in the world for your market, uh, but you always want to negotiate your deals as if you didn't have a buyer. That normally, in my, just from my experience, um, it keeps you in the mindset that I really need to negotiate a very attractive deal. And you may have a buyer ready to go, but you still want to try to capitalize on as much money as you can make, you know, because it is what it is. Now, before I get any further on, on this topic, I'm going to go into great detail on it. I want to make sure that you know you can access my 200 plus free videos um, on my, uh, uh, at my site, in which that'll give you an opportunity. That's flipman.net, and that'll give you an opportunity to, uh, to go to um, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, now, if you're on, um, uh, watching this on Facebook, if you just tap the button to the bottom right that says watch more or learn more, uh, that should give you access to these same uh, 200 videos. You won't believe it. You know, you just won't believe it. you never heard of me, never seen me before. You won't believe it. You just like this guy has got to be kidding. But 200 free videos, everything you need to know about wholesaling houses. Um, for those of you that want to get questions and answers and learn something every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, you can sign up for my Flippinar. Flippinar is at flippinar.com. That's right, seminars and webinars, had a baby and produced a Flippinar, which is all real estate um, uh, top uh, focused when you say Flippinar. So you can access this there. But on top of that, you can see what I offer as far as coaching and my step-by-step -step courses and what what's being charged for that. You, if you go to the if you attend the Flippinars, you're going to have a, a weekly opportunity to get a, a, a significant discount on that 
on coaching if you need it. Some you don't need it. The 200 plus free videos will be enough. That's fine. You want a free copy of the one page contract that I've used for more than 13 years, just simply text the word contract to 313131. Do not text me. Text the word contract to 313131. 313131 is just like a phone number. Just type that in as if you were going to text someone and then text the word contract. I know some of you probably laughing, but trust me, I get texts all the time. People text me 313131 or they'll text me contract. So that's why I'm being a little bit clear, trying to be a little clear here. All right, so if you want a free copy, that's what you do. If you need proof of funds, you're dealing with realtors, the only way they're going to take you seriously, you show some form of uh, funds that you can pay for your deal. Now, you still have to have an exit strategy with a buyer, but you can get that at realpof.com. That's realpof.com. Again, you can access the 200-plus free videos that I have at flipman.net and back to the topic at hand here. Can't find the buyer, now what, smart, you know what. And I'm saying you know what because a guy actually checked me, say, please don't use profanity. So someone gives me construction criticism, I'm up to take it. So I'll try not to use any profanity. I normally don't, but he'd say I did, and so we'll go with that on a, on a webinar we had. So anyway, so, um, but uh, again, so you can't find a buyer. So as I said, this terrifies most people about getting into this business because that's half of, of your success. Uh, the seller is the first half, the buyer is the, the other half. And again, it all starts with uh, negotiations. So what if you can't find a buyer? So what do you do, Mr. Flip Man? What do you do, Mr. Smart? You know what? So this is what you do. All right, you go back to the seller and one or two things. You ask them for more time and they give it to you. Yes. Or you go back to them, ask them for more time and they don't give it to you. All right, obviously, if, they, if you go back to them and you ask for more time and they give it to you, then you're going to try to get a minimum of two weeks. If you can get 30 days, get 30 more days. You know, I've done it plenty of times over the years. Um, so if you can get that, get it. Now, if you go back to them and they say no, then it is what it is. Now, you can try to see if you can do some other things, which I'll talk about here in a second. But if they say no, um, you thank them for their time and let them know if anything changes, give you a call back. Now, most people say, well, can't they sue you? But you, you could be sued for anything. The agreement that you have in place, now, I'm not an attorney, but I'm just telling you from my experience, I've never been sued with this or whatever. But they keep the earnest money. That's part of the reason you put up the earnest money, whether that's $10, $50, 100 uh, even 1000 if you put that much up. I rarely do that. But if you, even if you put it, that sellers the agreement, that's part of the reason why you put up the earnest money. Again, you can be sued for anything, but it doesn't mean they're going to win because this is just standard practice with real estate. I'll give you a better example. And some of you may have experienced this. You may be trying to buy a house to live in and you go through the traditional channels of using a, a lender. And a week before the closing, they check your credit again. And each lender is different. I'm not saying all lenders do this. But uh, they check your credit again, and, hey, something shows up that they didn't see before, all right? And so they go back to you, and they need another five grand uh, for closing uh, as a for the down payment to get the percentage of that they're actually going to lend. And you don't have it. You can't come up with it. So now you're breaking the deal. Uh, so what, the seller is going to make you buy the house? No different. No different. They, now, they can sue you, but... You know, so again, do they really have anything to stand on? People can sue for anything. So, um, so now let's let's go back and give you another scenario, and this is a renegotiate price. All right, so you may have a buyer, you may have a property on the contract for fifty grand, and you've been advertising it at sixty-five thousand, and you're really not getting a lot of action on it, and you have one buyer that comes back to you, you got. You're three weeks into your contract. You got maybe 10 days left or whatever. And uh, a buyer comes to you say, um, I, I want this house, but the most I can do on it is 50000 And I'll close in a week or as soon as we get a clear title. All right. So what? you still got time. You, you could either do a couple of things here. You can try to continue to market to see if you can find a buyer. Or you can go back to the seller and try to renegotiate the price. I've done this. Some with some success, success, 
Some with no success. <laughs> but you go back to them. See if they're injured. A lot of times you've already built some rapport. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you build some rapport with the actual owner of the property, the seller. And you go back to them and ask them, hey, say that um, um, you're going to be a little short on, on being able to close this deal, but you can come up with about $40,000. All right? Not lying. All right, so um, sellers either going to do one or two things. They may counter or they just say, no, nah, I'll just move on, you know, like that. All right, so if they say, hey, yeah, uh, I can't do 40, but um, i tell you what I can do 40 for. Wow, boom, you just built six grand into a clothing because you can get it under contract now, renegotiate at 44000 and wholesale it for 50000 because your buyer is willing to pay that. So that's six grand. Now, it may be a situation you could only get them down a thousand. You have to make an executive decision. What's half a zero? If I can only, if I, if I know this is a guy after I've talked to the buyer, someone I've never de dealt with before, and I think he's going to be a repeat buyer, then I'm going to probably, probably do it even for just a thousand. I've done as little as $500 before. And the way I look at it is that that buyer paid me $500 to be added to my buyer's list. And plus, I, you know, kept my part of the deal with the seller, which is really important to me, if, if all possible. All right. So that's one thing. All right. Now, you may go back to a seller because your time has ran out and the house is in really good condition um, for whatever reason. It's livable. And you may can negotiate um, some terms as far as a lease option. You know, really not my thing. Um, I've done them over the years, uh, but that may be an option also. So, um, again, either yes or no. All right. The other thing is, and this is probably the most important thing, is it all starts from the beginning. And, again, you may not know because you're new, and, and all the formers in the world may not prepare you for some of this because you really won't know what your buyers are really will pay in your market unless, uh, unless you put some deals, some properties out there for them, for them to, to call you on and you can just do some dummy properties people do that i really don't encourage that but you can do some dummy properties on craigslist or maybe even a zillow and see what type of response and what people are really willing to pay for it you're more comfortable with that then do it person don't suggest it but people do it or whatever but it all starts with what you negotiated how great of a deal you negotiated and your market will tell you again some of it's just perception and you may can kill it in one area uh, on properties that got the same price, everything as far as perception in your mind, because you're just looking at houses. But you're from there. You may know this, but you may not know it until you start talking to some actual buyers and you're just getting more action in one area versus there, even though the prices are virtually the same, same type neighborhood, maybe crime effects, may not be, maybe middle class blue, but it's just perception. So some of us, you just won't know. So, um, again, just to recap, uh, if you can't find the buyer, only a couple, you know, a few things you could do. Obviously, you go back to the seller and ask for more time and they give it to you. You go back to the seller and, and, and they don't give it to you. If they don't give it to them, as I said, thank them for their time. Let them know if anything changes, give you a call back. Sometimes it may just be a simple renegotiation of price because you have a buyer ready to go. Sometimes you go back and renegotiate the price and you don't have a buyer. It just depends on what type of rapport and what you're thinking. And I guess it doesn't call, cost you anything to go back and ask. You know, that's for sure. All right. And the other thing is that you can offer different um, uh, options as far as uh, terms and in the form of a lease option. Some people prefer subject to or whatever. Not really my thing again, but that option is out there. Um, and then, as, as I said from the beginning, it's a very important that you negotiate the best price available. Again, before I go, uh, make sure you access, uh, if you want, uh, 200 plus free videos uh, at flipman.net. If you're on Facebook, you can text, tap the button, learn more, watch more to access those. Um, you want to definitely, if you want your questions answered live from me directly, the Flipman, you can go to flipbernard.net.com. Um, again, I offer special discounts on my actual coaching. Uh, and courses there, only you can get it there on flippinart.com. If you want a free copy of my one-page contract, simply go, uh, simply text the word contract to 313131. Do not text me, text 313131 and the word contract hit send. 
All right, and if you need proof of funds, R E A L P O F dot com, real P O F dot com. Trying to get offers accepted by by agents. That's the only way they're going to take your uh, serious. Again, you can access two hundred free please. Free video at flipman.net. Thanks, and I will see you on the next video.